Thank you, Pastor Roy. We're now preparing the table to worship Jesus and to have the Lord's Supper together in the memory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he instituted a new agreement for us, a new covenant between God and man. And through Jesus, we have this wonderful, wonderful opportunity to have heaven that Pastor Roy talked about. Now, how should we come to the table of the Lord? I was reading in my morning devotions about the three great patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And God had a great plan to save mankind. His plan included uh, these three blessed men and many other men. God chose uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, just to name a few. They were building blocks in the great family of God. But you know what I noticed when I read about them? They were not perfect. They had weaknesses. They resisted God at times, and they sinned at times. But God still used them in this great work of salvation. God's plans are not overthrown by their mistakes or by our mistakes. God's plans are not overthrown uh, because we sometimes fail. He sent his son, Jesus. He loves us with an everlasting love and he's willing to forgive us. So if you are a Christian here today, uh, the Apostle Paul reminded us not to eat the Lord's Supper unworthily. The Apostle Paul meant by that to think about anything unworthy in our lives and to ask the Lord for forgiveness. So uh, the reflection uh, includes many items that we often don't consider as sins. And so please reflect on unforgiveness. God won't answer your prayers if you don't forgive. Not believing the word of God is a sin. Jealousies, gossip, unloving acts, temper, selfishness, pride, unrighteous anger, looking at things we should not look at, and then of course the Ten Commandments. Please ask for cleansing in the precious blood of Jesus, and then the Lord Jesus welcomes you to his table. Uh, there might also be those here today that are not yet Christians. We request you to let the elements pass. However, we invite you to ask Jesus to forgive you and for him to give you eternal life, for him to give you that heaven Pastor Roy was talking about. At the end of the service, I will be in the prayer room, which is on my left and your right through the door. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to come. Come and say, yes, I want to be right with God. The Lord Jesus will do so if you are sincere and he will give you eternal life. I would be so honored uh, to give you some scriptures and a booklet. Uh, this booklet would help you uh, to start a Christian walk. And then after uh, Pastor Roy greets the congregation, he will also be available to speak to you if you want to. Now concerning the Lord's Supper, uh, would a brother please come and pray for the bread. <coughs> 